Hi and welcome to our Monday Motivation. My name is Noelle Nchirabo and uh, we're continuing our series on growth mindset. Today I want to talk about the power of knowledge. We live in a knowledge edge where knowledge is everywhere. We kind of can pick up anything at the click of a finger. We can ask Mr. Gugu, sir. We can search it. We can read about it. We can listen to it. We can have it in so many formats. There's basically an overload of knowledge. And it's so easy for us to get to a place where we're so comfortable, where we are basically relaxed, where we don't put in the effort in acquiring knowledge. However, I believe in the statement that says knowledge is power. It's always been and it still is. And you need to be intentional about getting knowledge, not just any kind of information. So the thing is that every day you have tons of information thrown at you through music, through podcasts, through uh, posts on social media, through all kinds of ways. And it's so easy to get overwhelmed. However, for knowledge to make sense, it needs to be relevant for you as a person. It needs to be practical. It needs to be applicable in your context. So when you think about growing in knowledge, my philosophy is the fact that you should never go to bed the same way you wake up. You should be intentional about going to bed every day better than the person you were yesterday so how do you uh, leverage the power of knowledge uh, where we have so much knowledge so one of the things that uh, you can do to leverage the power of knowledge is developing a reading culture we live in a culture where we have so many books so many free books P talk about pdf talk about podcasts talk about audiobooks and yet many of us can hardly read through a book to the end so cultivating that culture of reading you're going to be intentional about finding the kind of books and information that is relevant for your career, for your personal development, and just committing to reading, even if it's one book a month. You will have read 12 books in a year. Not many people are even able to read two books in a year, so you'll be way much more better than everybody else. The other thing about... Um, Leveraging the power of knowledge is the fact that you can leverage research, research, uh, not just being able to be spoon fed. Many of us do not know how to question information. We take everything at first value that way it's given to us, but for you to leverage the power of knowledge, you're going to be intentional about researching the topics or the, the kind of scope of work or influence that you want to work in and being an expert, being a uh, an, an opinion holder on that matter. Why? Because you took the time to research. Other things that we can do to leverage our power of knowledge is listening to podcasts. That's one of the things I've had to integrate in my daily uh, routine, taking off 30 minutes to listen to podcast for motivational talks and inspiration that are relevant to my scope of work and my scope of influence so listen to podcasts you can read audio books these days you can read pdf you can join a book club whatever it takes be intentional about growing in knowledge every year every day every week go to bed knowing that you are better than the person you are when you woke up that morning so i believe that even in this information age we need to be intentional about leveraging knowledge so we can use it to our own advantage and to be able to actualize our goals and our purpose so I believe that when we grow in knowledge, we actually become better, we actually increase our competence, we increase our expertise, and we become the go-to person concerning that matter. My name is Noelle Nchirabo. Have a blessed day and a blessed week. And until next time, let's keep the conversations going online. Catch you next time.